Imagine you're a tiny frog adorned in bright gold and red. Only a handful of people know you exist among the cloud forest mountaintops of southeast Queensland. You're well adapted to your home there, but climate change is causing your safe mountaintop to become ever drier and warmer, and clearing of land isolates your mountain refuges so that you can't meet other frogs. This is the story of the red and yellow mountain frog. and I'm a biologist and a field ecologist. I did my PhD with frogs at Griffith University and I studied the influences of climate change on the mountaintop frogs. We're here today searching for one of those mountaintop frogs. It's called Philoria condagongan or the red and yellow mountain frog. So we're here at Main Range National Park in a rainforest of Southeast Queensland. We're searching for this red and yellow mountain frog that loves living in these really humid patches of rainforest. They like living near gullies, but they're a terrestrial frog. So this means they'll live near the water, but not in the water. And that also means that their tadpoles will not be laid in the water, but the males will construct a little burrow that will be five centimeters long and deep, where the female and male will lay the eggs and the tadpoles will develop there until they become little frogs. The distributional range of this frog is mountain top rainforest here in Southeast Queensland. These forests have been fragmented in a lot of tiny pieces of forest as they're way up in the top of the mountains. This is a really big threat because if we keep cutting all the trees surrounding, the area where they can live becomes smaller. Another threat for this species is climate change. What climate change is doing to a lot of animals is making them go higher in the mountains or higher in latitude towards the poles because the climate is getting warmer. So these frogs, if they already live up in the tops, won't have anywhere else to go. Another thing with climate change is that it changed the cloud cover. That means less and less rain will be falling in this amazing clouded rainforest in southeast Queensland. The last threat of this species is the chytrid disease. This chytrid disease is a fungal disease that has decimated a lot of frogs in southeast Queensland and the rest of the world. What we can do about this is make sure we clean our boots and our car tires every time we visit a rainforest. So that means thoroughly cleaning them with 10% bleach water solution. If you come bushwalking into Main Ridge National Park, make sure that you stick to the tracks and you take your rubbish away with you. This really unique and vulnerable frog lives here. You might not see it, but it's here. And this is the way we can help keep his precious habitat clean and good for them to keep living here. Following the simple steps, we can all help save this frog from extinction. <laughs>